to set up Sales Navigator in LinkedIn in 2022. Guess what? I've got another three months of LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Thank you, LinkedIn. The great part is they notified me that I'm eligible to have yet another three months of LinkedIn Sales Navigator. They call it premium LinkedIn account, meaning that you can get actually any premium account. Sales Navigator, they are a tool for recruiters, for looking for a job, for expanding your network for whatever purposes you might want to have their premium account. But I needed Sales Navigator and I didn't use this opportunity for another few months because the war started and yet they didn't drew their offer away. Such gentlemen. Now, recently my agency has been experiencing some issues with our long-standing customers. So I guess it's time for me to go clients hunting again. And here we go, LinkedIn Sales Navigator to help me find high quality clients and save the day. To set up LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you go to your profile and you go to try premium. I have an option to try it for free because LinkedIn actually provides you uh, one month per year, if I'm not mistaken and um, this is typically enough for me to find clients. So how would you like to use premium? So they ask me, how would I like to use it? Whether I need it to find a job, to develop my skills, to grow my network, to find leads or to hire faster. And depending on which option I choose, of course, they will provide me a different version of their premium account. Of course, I need to find leads more effectively and we'll go to the next stage. And I choose Sales Navigator Core for individuals because I've got no team. Okay, so we try Premium Free. Here we go. So choosing Sales Navigator Individual, I'll choose Monthly. So after I put in all the correct card details, uh, I can start my free trial. It begins as of actual date when you're ordering this premium account. Uh, today is July 8th and beginning August 8th. I will be charged and um, yeah, I can cancel at any time. Great option. So start free trial. I strongly recommend if you are given this opportunity from LinkedIn, I strongly recommend you to try it out. So the next time consuming step you have to take is to tune up your sales navigator. Welcome to sales navigator, Olga. Get started. Before we jump in, smash the like button to help me grow this channel. Consider subscribing for the tons of great and free advice here on my YouTube channel. You might want to check out my playlist related to LinkedIn, to Upwork and other things related to launching and growing your IT business. Okay, I won't be downloading the mobile app and I'll continue to Sales Navigator. You might because it's really just, uh, convenient to use. Uh, your sales navigator right from your phone, but I'm not gonna do that. So the next step uh, is why we're here is to tune up your sales navigator. So here you can either search for leads, meaning that you search for individuals, which I recommend that you do because decision makers are actually people. And if you're looking for projects and you don't care about the brand, like if you're not planning to work with Fortune 500 or anything of the sort, and you're just looking for work, for projects, for cash, you better be looking for leads because account filters is for companies. If you're looking for some specific companies. So let me go to this filters role function. So I am looking for all the technical stuff because technical stuff are, are our ambassadors in the companies because they understand what they're looking for. Okay, seniority level. I'm looking for directors, senior staff, owner, because they are the decision makers. Okay, connection, second and third. I'd like to expand my network. Geography. Okay, maybe Germany. We got a lot of requests from there. I can go on with setting up the entire um, Sales Navigator account, but I can actually save this search. Let me save it. Lead search one. Okay, <laughs> I'm good with this name because I already see that Sales Navigator has targeted the right, the correct lead types for me. I can see here is the VP of Data Engineering based in the United States, uh, CO, STO, 
United Kingdom Engineering Director, Chief Technology Officer. So all the right stuff, all the people we're actually looking for. The next thing you do is you send connect messages with the right message, presenting yourself and offering straight away what you have to offer. And if there is a fit, you get lucky. Here are some drafts I'd like to use just for the sake of this video. So connect, let me write to Simon because he's got a shorter name. Dear Simon, I have a team of data engineers. Would you care for a brief call to see if we could be of assistance to each other? I would like to discuss any projects that might require some extra help. Here we go, send invitation. And that's how you reach out. Uh, that's how you both expand your network and reach out to the leads who are like a perfect match for you and your business. By the way, if you didn't know, I run an IT outsourcing agency myself and I share a lot of free advice here on YouTube and some quite specific advice on my Patreon page where I share legal documents that you might need as an IT outsourcing business owner and some operational documents and some sales channels and I provide their one-on-one -on -one coaching and group sessions you might want to check that out. If you're interested, the link is in the description. If you would like to learn more tips on LinkedIn Sales Navigator and how you can use that to generate high quality leads and get more clients, or if you might want to explore Upwork opportunities for your agency, make sure to check out my playlist here because you will learn a ton of free information from them. See you there and hit the like button before you go. Stay safe.